Hi guys. Charity shop gold or garbage. Uh, where were we? Emerson's Green today. Just one charity shop out there. Sue Ryder. Pick this one up. I do have a bit of a thing about clocks. I like clocks. £2.50. A bit more than I'd like to pay for this. No idea if it works. I have seen them in the past. And like the idea of them in that they shine the time up on the wall or the ceiling so you don't have to look up to look out of bed or to look at the time looks like they've left us a couple of batteries Let's see if it works glasses in. Mode, time set, alarm on, off. Yeah, I'm going to go and get some glasses so I can actually read what I'm looking at. Well, having spent hours fussing with this last night, I then looked in the packaging and there's the instructions. So after all that fussing around, trying to guess my way through it, the instructions were there all along. Right, first of all, a quick run round the clock, alarm on off, time set, mode, plus and minus buttons. On there we have the switch for the continuous projector which only works if you've got something plugged into the 3 volt DC supply. Battery box on the back, got batteries in there, that's the speaker. This is the projector, which you can move so you can point it at the ceiling or the wall. Although in my opinion it's upside down, because if you want it pointing that way at the wall behind it, it actually turns out upside down that way. You have to be pointing at the ceiling or at the wall in front of it. Uh, although I suppose you could flash it on a mirror or something. Anyway, let's go through the setting up. Press the time set for three seconds. One, two, three. We've got the hours flashing, so we can go up and uh, down an hour or up an hour. Press the mode button. Now it's the minutes flashing. Uh, I don't know what time it is actually, 10.42 at the moment, so we took too long, so go back into time mode again, one, two, three, go to minutes, going down the wrong way, Ten forty-three. press the mode button again, we're now flashing down here, which is the year, so we're in 2022, 2021, 2022, 2023, so back to 2022, mode button again, month flashing, so we're in August, so July, August, September, so August, mode again, we got the day, it is the 14th today. Mode again, and we're out, and we've got Sunday showing, which is correct. Uh, 
let's just see. Yeah, yeah we've done that. And if we leave it alone, it goes, it does say if you leave it alone without doing anything, it exits, exits the time setting mode and goes back to the time display without data update. So if you've got halfway through it and then wander away like I did to go and check something and come back, it won't have saved what you've done. Right, setting the alarm. Um, so we're, let's have a look, mode, dual time, we'll just look in here, um, yeah, dual time, alarm one, alarm two, let's just zoom in a little bit, try and get the light right so we can see this. won't last for long okay if I hold the mode button in we're on alarm 2 at the moment hold the mode button in right now the alarm time is flashing so we can set that to 10 press that again now the minutes let's go the other way 10.52, that'll do, that'll give us a few minutes, no, in fact, let's go down, 10.49, press that again, okay, so what should happen, according to me, is it should alarm at 10.49, if I press that, so that's alarm 2 is set, Oh, have I got that set to p.m.? I think that's 10 p.m. I can't see clearly. Well, if it doesn't go off in a couple of seconds, well, 10 seconds, we know that we got it set to 10 p.m. instead of 10 a.m. Right, didn't go off. Okay, mode button. That's flashing. Yeah, we had it set to PM, not AM. Okay, so 10. Fifty. Okay, set to ten fifty. Alarm is on. the light on so we can see that right so got there in the end that snoozed it how do we actually turn it off? Press that. Yeah, that did it. Okay, so that was the alarm set for 10.50. If you press the mode button again, dual time. So we can hold that button in. Yeah, so if we wanted to set dual time for some... If you're on holiday somewhere and you want to know what the local time is... Or you've got a friend who lives somewhere in the other part of the world and you don't want to wake them up when you ring them. Uh, the minutes will be the same, won't they? So, that's setting the dual time. Hold that in for a bit longer. We got on to alarm one. Hold that in. Hours are flashing. So we'll come down to 10 again. Minutes are flashing. Fifty-two. 
Okay, so that should now go off in a few seconds time. No, could have got it set to PM again. Oh dear. Right. Ten AM ten fifty three. Okay. Just out of interest, that's alarm off, that's alarm one, that's alarm two. So we'll leave it on alarm two at the moment. No, we want it on alarm one. I'll put it on both. That's both of them now. Okay, it's a different alarm tone, so that's handy. That turns it off. Or that snoo or that one snoozes it. Well I think we got there in the end. Oh the other one we didn't do was language. Right, the only one I haven't done is setting the language which at the moment that says SU for Sunday if we change the language it will say something else so hold the down button for three seconds EN for English German Italian French Spanish English German Italian, so Italian is DO for Sunday. French, DI, Dimanche, I think. German, SO. you for Sunday. Right, well, that was an awful lot of fussing around, and I went down quite a few rabbit holes trying to find it. But in fact, the instructions were clear. I was pressing the time set key to try and reset it, when it clearly says press the mode key. So even when it's written in black and white in front of me, I can't follow instructions. Mode key. I was trying to set the alarm time by pressing the time set. Get myself totally confused. I'll scan these in and put them at the end of the video. Right, so we're sort of we're sort of there. I've managed to set the time and date. It's only taken me about half an hour to work it out. It does project it onto the wall, but if we want it to be permanently projecting onto the wall, we need a three volt power supply. Right, just reading the instructions while I was editing the video and noticed there was a couple of features I'd missed. At the moment, you'll see I've got it F up there for foreign time 
We can switch between foreign time and home time by holding the plus button in. Three seconds. So that's my local time. And then if we're going abroad or something and we want to be able to s skip backwards and forwards, hold that in three seconds. Foreign time. Um, if I hold the time set in while we're in foreign time, we can change that. So now we do that again. Right, local time. Foreign time. And then the other thing that I noticed that I'd missed the first time round, just press this once, and we toggle between 24 hour clock and normal clock. Hold that in three seconds again to get back to local time. Yeah, so it's currently 4.27 in the afternoon, or 16.27, 16.28. You can probably hear our neighbours have got their kids round. Yeah, so I missed that the first time, got it now. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.